Okay. Hey guys, thanks uh, for showing up first thing in the morning uh, to Bigfoot Networks. And uh, I'm Sean McCann, I'm the Senior Product Market Manager for the Killer 2100 and the Bigfoot Networks uh, Killer Technology. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our new product, the Killer 2100, and what it does for gamers and what it does for games. So, uh, first of all, can everybody hear me? Yeah. Everybody can hear me okay. And then, guys, just go ahead and scoot on into the booth so you can hear me a little better, and hopefully I won't have to shout in the microphone the whole time. So, uh, Bigfoot Networks was founded to fight lag in online games. Um, it was discovered that there were a lot of uh, there were a lot of inefficiencies in networking and, and game networking, especially that allowed for a lot of lag on the client side. Not just in the internet, not just on the server, but right there in your own box, there was a lot of lag. And we found that by um, by applying some previously previously established technology for uh, that was established for TCP/IP networking. We were able to do this for game style networking. So some server technology, some high performance network card technology was brought to killer technology to uh, offload game traffic from the uh, CPU to bypass game traffic around the Windows network stack and then to get that to your game faster than ever. We're gonna talk about all of this today. Our latest product is a killer 2100. It's a, uh, it's a high performance PCIe network, uh, gaming network card that is designed uh, and tuned for low latency. What that means is the speed at which the packets get from your game to the internet and from the internet to your game. And what uh, latency is a little bit different than bandwidth. Bandwidth is the amount of, is, is a measure of how much uh, data your connection can handle or how much your data your card or your PC can handle. While a measure of latency is how fast. And if you think of a highway, as a multi-lane highway is a very uh, is able to get you a lot of uh, bandwidth, right? You can put a lot of buses on that highway. You can move a lot of people through that highway at the same time. Think of latency as a sports car on that same highway, and that sports car, while it might be small, while it might only be carrying one or two people, gets you to that destination a lot quicker. That's what we talk about when we talk about speed. That's what we talk about when we talk about latency. Uh, so it's a it's a very important distinction to make because many standard network cards are tuned for bandwidth. So they're very good at getting you an eight gigabyte file across a network very quickly. They're not very good at getting you that 250 byte packet that might have a grenade or a bullet or a spell with your name on it as quickly as possible. And that's where we come in. We detect game data at the wire and get it to your game as fast as faster than any other network card out there. Back from the game, Back out to the back out to the internet faster than any other network card out there. We got a few things to show you about that today. So um, I'm going to ignore the large screen here, and we're going to go over here and look at the small screen real quick. I'm going to show you some of the interface and some of the features of the Killer 2100. So uh, we give you unprecedented control over all the functions of your network, all the things that your network does and all the things that your network card does. So uh, our first our first pane on our killer network manager suite, that's the software that actually drives the card and gives you a lot of functionality that you wouldn't have from an ordinary network card. Uh, our first pane is the overview pane, and it shows uh, some key stats about your system, CPU usage, total network usage, total bandwidth usage, as well as a little bandwidth graph right down here. Now we're connected to the internet and we're not doing anything, but we're going to be doing something very processor intensive, uh, very network intensive very soon, and I'll show you some uh, cool features about that. Um, our PC monitor page allows you to look at uh, a variety of statistics that, uh, that affect your online gaming experience. The, uh, how much your network is being used, how much your CPU is being used, even, uh, even key, uh, key metrics like your frame rate, and uh, baseline ping that you're able to see with the uh, that you're able to use that you're able to use sorry as a as a baseline measure of your overall network connection health. All of these things: CPU usage, frame rate, total network usage, and ping and baseline ping are you can combine those to get an effective picture of your online gaming health. And you're you're able to use each of those statistics to diagnose lag or slowdown in your online games. Additionally, in our Applications tab, we have uh, uh, one of our coolest features, and that's Visual Bandwidth Control. 
And what that is, it allows you to assign certain chunks and priorities of your bandwidth to certain applications as, as you use them. So you can prioritize a game at priority one, at, at top priority, so that your game packets, your, your trigger pulls, your spell casts, everything like that, take precedence over anything that you might be downloading, any other network noise in the, in, the, uh, in the system, any other network noise on the network, anything like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, download a torrent. It's Ubuntu. It's open source. Okay, we're not going to do it. A torrent. <laughs> And there we go. Okay, so we're, uh, we're, we should be downloading this torrent now. And you can see here on our PC monitor that our total bandwidth, our uh, regular internet bandwidth there is spiking at around uh, five megabits. And then if we go here to our visual bandwidth control, you can see here, by clicking on that application in visual bandwidth control, you get much more detail. So you can see the orange bar here is our current upload speed. We're uploading about uh, 0.25 megabits per second, and we're downloading about 5 to 10 megabits per second. But say I want a game, or say I want to do a, a different download simultaneously, or if I want to, uh, or if I want to make sure that I'm not destroying the rest of the network for the whole show, I can grab one of these bars and drag it down and throttle the bandwidth to whether, whatever I'd like it to do. And we can see that it responds immediately and locks it in there at about 4.28 megabits per second and doesn't exceed it. So what that allows you to do, it, it gives you unprecedented control over your network and over your online gaming PC. So you're allowed, so you're able to uh, download patches or, or do other things while you game. Anecdotally, yesterday, well, here we're sponsoring Fragmore University, where we teach you how to frag online like pros. Yesterday we had uh, Jordan Gilbert, who's a pro Counter-Strike player, uh, taking on all comers here. He was uh, uh, participating in two-to-one matches, and he got about 50 frags in a row over an hour uh, from this machine right here. At the same time, this machine was downloading World of Warcraft into the, into the same thing, and he was rocking all comers. So it was, uh, it was proof of the power of the car that it was able to prioritize his game networking traffic over all the other traffic and the uh, network noise there.